Hello, my name is Cameron Schultz, and I am a researcher at the Technology Enabled Clinical Improvement Center, presenting our work, Measuring Surgical Decisions, the Impact of Individual Operative Strategies on Procedural Efficiency During Simulated Laparoscopic Ventral Hernia Repair. This work is a collaboration between Dr. Carla Pugh, the director of the Techie Center, and the American College of Surgeons Clinical Congress. Funding for this research was provided by the NIH and the American College of Surgeons. Wearable sensors, including motion capture devices, provide the opportunity for surgeons to, develop, to evaluate the efficiency and impact of different operative approaches. Insights into the nature of a procedure can be derived from these motion metrics. Several metrics that have consistently shown to be significant determinants of procedural efficiency include overall procedure duration, as well as left and right hand speeds. We have selected these quantitative measures alongside qualitative annotations of surgeon decision-making to analyze the efficiency of certain operative strategies. We hypothesize that these operative strategies, the choices a surgeon makes during a procedure significantly influences the duration and hand speeds of simulated laparoscopic ventral hernia repair. To test this hypothesis, we asked 70 participants to complete a simulated LVH at the 2022 American College of Surgeons Clinical Congress. Participants would begin their procedure by visually analyzing the hernia defect and conclude just before TAC placement. For each surgeon, we collected video, audio, and motion data for future review. Additionally, mesh preparation and anchoring suture protocols were coded for future analysis. In our analysis, we identified three major operative strategies, extracorporeal mesh sutures, intracorporeal sutures with intra-abdominal fixation, and intracorporeal sutures with transfascial fixation. In addition to these three unique categories, we also cataloged several operative decisions, such as whether or not the participant closed the defect before applying mesh and how many total sutures were applied. Out of the 70 total participants, 48 placed extracorporeal mesh sutures, 11 placed intracorporeal sutures with transfascial fixation, and 11 placed intracorporeal sutures with intraabdominal fixation. The median procedural duration was shortest for the extracorporeal group, followed by the intracorporeal transfascial group, and finally, the intracorporeal intraabdominal group, as shown in figure one. A one-way ANOVA test also determined a significant difference between the mean durations of these groups with an alpha of 0.01. For those who chose intracorporeal approaches, procedural duration was similar, but, the intra-abdominal fixation group exhibited a larger variation in procedure times when compared to the transfascial fixation group. Furthermore, the extracorporeal group exhibited significantly higher left and right hand speeds when compared to participants who chose intracorporeal approaches, as illustrated in Figure 2. In general, operative strategy has a strong influence on the efficiency of a procedure as shown by the significant difference in procedural duration and surgeon hand speed for the three aforementioned operative strategies. Moreover, a high degree of variability in duration suggests that there is a wide range of performance abilities and opportunities for development within each approach. Objective assessment, such as feedback from motion metrics, is instrumental in the understanding of how individualized operative strategy impacts the safe and efficient completion of cases. In the future, the development of procedure agnostic methods of measuring efficiency may allow surgeons to track, evaluate, and develop their own skills and performances in adherence to their chosen operative strategies. It is also important to evaluate how surgeons integrate and respond to feedback from these objective metrics. As a first step, identifying which components of a given strategy contribute the most to variability in performance is a good starting point for understanding the link between operative strategy and efficient surgical procedures. Thank you very much for your time.